there's a lot of talk lately about the insurrection about the insurrection right on these grounds right on the hallowed grounds of capitol hill but we better quit worried about capitol hill and we better start worrying about calvary's hill calvary's cruel cross of golgotha i call america to repentance every day on my social media i call america to repent I'm not about insurrection. I don't preach insurrection. I wasn't a part of the insurrection. I was 900 miles away that day, January 6th. No, I don't preach about the insurrection. I'm not about the insurrection. You know what I preach? The resurrection. The resurrection, hallelujah, of Jesus Christ. I don't talk about insurrection. I talk about intercession. Intercession because that's the only way to save America. As I come to you from Capitol Hill today, we are days away, weeks away from the midterm elections. And the question is, who will control that House of Representatives and that Senate behind me? And two years from now, who will occupy the White House? Well, there's $4 gas four dollar gas all across America and I'm gonna just say it if there's four dollar gas you're not gonna have four more years of Joe Biden and with the economic crisis the inflation the interest rates the catastrophe that Americans are facing economically right now my very bold prediction is that control of both houses of Congress behind me is gonna change because Americans vote their wallet, their purse, their pocketbooks. But I didn't come to Capitol Hill today to talk about politics. That's not my purpose for being at Capitol Hill today. Now listen to me. If you've ever listened to a preacher, listen to me right now. You need, we need to quit worrying about elections and midterm elections and winning elections because a hundred years from now that's not going to amount to a hill of beans it's not going to mean anything you know what's more important than winning elections or playing with your electronics to use the word elect or having stronger erections that's all you see on tv is ed commercials but but forget about winning midterm elections forget about electronics forget about having stronger erections and all that foolishness the thing that matters is you being the elect of God. Are you listening to me? You being the elect of God. That's the election that really matters. That's the real law. The real judge of the universe is Almighty God, and you will stand before Him. But you know, today you listen to the national media, and they focus on all these other issues all these other issues, but I got a pet peeve. And as I come to Capitol Hill, I'm gonna close with this. I got a pet peeve today. My pet peeve with the national media is that they have totally forgotten about Southwest Florida. They have totally forgotten about, there's no coverage about Southwest Florida after Hurricane Ian. About Hurricane Ian, there's no, there's no coverage. They, they, have, they have forgotten about human suffering and I'm here today trying to get our congressmen and our senators and our president to focus on the human suffering in Southwest Florida. Don't drop it. You know, that's the, that's the way visual technology and all these videos and our virtual society works. For a few days, maybe a week, they cover it. People watch, they make money, the ratings go up, but then they forget about it and they move on to something else. Well, the people in Fort Myers Beach in Naples and Cape Coral, and Pine Island, and Punta Gorda, and Port Charlotte, and Sanibel, Captiva, and many other areas I could name, they're still suffering. Some are still without power, without cable, without wireless. They don't know where they're gonna eat. Their roofs are blown off. They're still in shelters. They don't know what they're gonna do. Pray for Southwest Florida. And tell your congressman and senator, and tell the news media that you follow, cover Southwest Florida because people's lives matter. People are hurting. We need to focus on the things that are eternal, helping people, 
Do you spend your day watching videos, constantly video and virtual, or do you volunteer to soup kitchen, volunteer to homeless shelter, preach the gospel to the poor, help people, visit the hospital, the jails, the nursing home? People matter. People matter. And that's my message here today in Washington. People matter. Worry about being the elect of God. Get the heart of Jesus. Visit the orphans. Visit the widow in their affliction. Visit the homeless. Visit the prisoners. Visit the hospitals. Help the poor. Live for others. That's the heartbeat of Jesus. That's the heartbeat of Jesus. People. People. That's how the heart of God beats. People. 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 From Washington. From Washington. This is Evangelist Mike Dial. God bless you. And America, remember, Jesus is still your answer. And repent. The Bible says, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Amen.